Good evening, Mr. Shali, ma'am. How are you? Hi, sir. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. All good, ma'am. Thank you so much. So let's start with the introduction because uh, these medical terms and all are totally new to me. Mountains are still something I can relate to. But then, yes, uh, we have Dr. Vrishali. She has been there with us starting the Everest Base Camp track. We'll come to that a bit later. But then let's start with the introduction, ma'am. So, uh, <clears throat> firstly, I, my apologies. I'm a little under the weather. So if I'm not audible at any point of time, please let me know. Uh, I am Dr. Vrishali Dhani Khan. I am a dermatologist. Okay, uh, by a dermatologist, I mean I'm a specialist doctor of skin, hair, and nails. So generally, most people don't know this that dermatologists okay. are not only doctors of the skin but also hair and nails. And uh, <clears throat> I'm practicing in Bombay, and uh, I have known Romil sir for the last uh, two years, I think, and it's been a wonderful association. Right. So coming on to that association of knowing, how did it start? How did the trekking aspect came into your life? Because I believe this was the first trek that you started with the Everest Base Camp. Yes. So uh, I am absolutely not a outdoor person, or uh, as in somebody who's into mountaineering or trekking or any of that. And uh, in 2022 was my 40th birthday, and I told my husband that you know I wanted to do something very grand. and uh, my husband being my husband uh, decided he just gave me you know i'm gifting you this uh, everest base camp trek and he's like you can do it you just have to train a little or ho jayega we'll we will cut your birthday cake on one of the peaks somewhere so i uh, i was like you know i was expecting like a five star hotel party with lots of guests and cocktails and mocktails and all of that <clears throat> but here i was um, in the mountains and probably it was one of the best birthdays i've ever had i don't think anything can beat that because uh, i think my birthday cake was cut on nangar uh, nangar nangar was there was on peak and uh, yeah, that's how it happened and then once you are in the mountains there's magic in the mountains as always romil sir says and then smitten by the magic i cannot stop so i have uh, further pushed my daughters into it as well and they are very young though they are 3 and 8 years old respectively but uh, yeah it's it's so far good they are enjoying it as well absolutely so you know i remember considering the first trek you know a lot of people have hesitations and then you decided to have it directly on the everest base camp trek and cake cutting on 5077 meters which was nangashan so And did you ever think that you know something like this you would do once you turn forty, or you would have a birthday cake celebrated at that time with the husband celebrating the birthday there? No, I had never thought of something like. In fact, I was I didn't think that I will reinvent myself in a physical way like this. You know, you generally feel that as you become older, you grow wiser, you become more calmer, and all these other things, and then you you take up a lot of things. Right, you start reading all the self help books that are there. which practically never help your visits to your therapist increase as well you spend a lot of money on your mental health as well but you never really think about uh, reinventing your physical health which in turn directly affects your mental health and absolutely ek ke price mein do mil gaya waisa wala scene ho gaya because there's so much tranquility there's so much peace it's actually a mindfulness workshop i i, I think i shared it with you also that the whole 14 days everest base camp trek was actually a mindfulness workshop and it is not just the physical strength that you test there are so many things which you are testing uh, re uh, knowing so many things about yourself which which probably i never knew about myself till I, till i turned 40 and i can despite all my gold medals i'm not boasting here but i'm just telling you <laughs> despite all my medals and all my accolades my biggest medal till date has been that i completed my everest base camp trek wonderful ma'am very very nicely expressed you know could have been expressed in a better manner yeah so everest base camp was fine but then that was dr maksud brought you there and you then reinvented yourself the way you were saying but then how did you even think of sending your you know 3 year old and 8 year old to a place in kangra and that too in the peak of winters in himachal how was that experience how did that come up see once i did the trek i was very sure that i want to 
I want to expose my children to this. So, anyways, I am very uh, uh, unimpressed by uh, the kind of safe uh, environment we subject our children to. I am very uncomfortable with that. I don't take my kids to the malls. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Bombay doesn't have a lot of uh, uh, play areas. Most of them are indoor. I live in uh, Santa Cruz, which is there's a lot of indoor play areas, you know, with all those mats on the ground. And, you know, like the child should not get hurt. The child should not have discomfort. They don't know what pasina is. Some of the kids, you know, we take them outdoors and they're like, Hamko pasina hai. like, what is this? <laughs> Which is so funny. And then we have had falls and injuries and scars and these kids have no scars at all. You know, <coughs> right. so... Once I done the trek, uh, I was very sure that I wanted to uh, at least start sending my older one, uh, who's eight years old. So I was very sure I'm going to send right. her, and I did take her to the local treks over here in Sand in uh, Bombay only. I mean uh, the Maharashtra Sayadri range, and I realized that she was, she had begun to enjoy it because this whole process of going through trouble and then reaching somewhere that develop a lot of patience in kids which our kids don't have we have 4g 5g internet abhi to buffering bhi nahi hota pehle at least you know you were watching something buffering hota tha you were like are yaar kyu ho raha hai buffering abhi to wo bhi right. nahi hota you know so there is no waiting period for anything there is so much abundance and there is so right. much instant gratification ki itna do you know you have to walk or trek for so many hours and you reach a particular place that practically doesn't happen So Very this true. was sure. Taking my three-year-old was a huge risk. My husband took. Okay. Yeah, right. Um, if my husband is a crazy one, he's a crazy uh, person. Uh, Definitely. Yeah, I think <laughs> you you have to meet him to know what I'm talking about. But uh, he that was a risk he took. But then I'm right. very. Our, our pediatricians warned us against it. He had I had met my pediatrician. He was like. Vishal, you can't send your daughter. She's mm-hmm. just three years, and I was like, "Sir, ticket to cut gaya. Abi kya kar sakte? Kal jare hamne kapre bhi kharid liye." So, but then I'm yeah. very glad. I I was so amazed. My daughter would not eat her food without a mobile, and here she was for what a week with no mobile, happily yeah. eating. On. We we had to run behind her to feed her. Here she was eating on her own, yeah. and enjoying yeah. uh, the outdoors. So yeah, it was amazing. True that. Yeah, Rumi had a blast, you know, and because of her, everybody in the group really had a great time looking at her and seeing her enjoying. Definitely, you also had a birthday like that, I believe, you know, wherein uh, the kids were invited for a short trek or walk, something like that. You had also organized. Yes. So uh, I live in Santa Cruz. So Santa Cruz Parla Juhu is a little, you know, uh, the classy, uh, the higher class uh, oh. kind of a. and right. generally our parties are you know when they take the kids to a very they have birthday organizers where the budgets go in lakhs oh. and um, you know there are these magicians and so everything is indoors again the same concept of being in a super comfortable zone with all pretty dresses yes. and dinners and uh, you know the blue and purple themes and there are themes okay like serious themes and right. every- I used to take them. I used to feel very. कि यार ये क्या हो रहा है? You know, our age, our birthdays were what cake and wafers and samosas, right? And right. that used to be amazing. But now there are like uh, croissants and cookies and all different kinds. And so I, I was, I used to not like it so much. So when Myra had a birthday, we actually connected with someone and we took them on a small trek to national oh. park. Um, and uh, so it was not a very long trek because i didn't know the stamina of the other children it was like maybe a half an hour and they were outdoors and then they we, we sat at a place called ganesh takri and they called an arts professor who then made them collect all kinds of leaves and do all kinds of activities so there was no colors or anything involved so you make you make you take something from the nature do something and then you know uh keeping back the waste there there was just a cake there was no nothing fancy kids were asked right. to bring food so uh it was super fun and all the other parents were like how did you even think of this but uh, then absolutely. i because i had 
done the EBC and I know how important this is to go outdoors and not be indoors in that AC environment. Correct. So, yeah. Very innovative. Excellent. Ma. So, that was, the, you know, the trick part of it. Now we come on to the aspect of, you know, our main thing regarding sunburn and suntan. So what what's all that, you know, why does it happen uh, in the first instance? And uh, next is, you know, how do we prevent that? So first, let's take it, you know, why does a sunburn or suntan happen? And what's the difference between? Is it same or different? What is it? So, sir, look, uh, you're sitting at home, right? right? You're sitting in front of your phone. There are lights on and probably the ring light is also on. So many things. Sir, do you think any damage is happening to your skin right now? I, I don't think so. If it is sunburn or something related to that, should not be. No, there is damage happening to your skin right now as we speak. Okay. okay. So the blue light from your uh, mobile screen or the computer screen, right. the LED light here in the house, that's the visible light. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're sitting in front of a computer for eight hours a day, which is what happens in a lot of people who are working from home or the phones right. uh, or, or your infrared rays, which are coming, your microwaves radiation. So all these radiations are anyways damaging your skin on a regular basis and not just your skin, your general health as well. Right. right? Now, when you expose yourself out to the sun, there is already some damage and then you're exposing yourself to more damage. Okay. okay. <coughs> now we have something called as the ozone layer around the earth. Right. Ozone uh, used to absorb a lot of ultraviolet radiation earlier, like a few hundred years ago. Right. But because of the pollution and the CFCs, the AC emits and a lot of things, the ozone layer is thinning out. So this is allowing more and more ultraviolet light to enter the Earth's hemisphere, the Earth's atmosphere. Right. Now, because of that, there are a lot of things that happens from something as simple as a sunburn to okay. pigment to aging and sometimes even skin cancer. Okay. So this is a wide spectrum of conditions that happen depending on what altitude you're going to how many hours you are in that altitude. Like people like us, we are 14 days in that altitude, right? Right. If we go for base camp track, we are 14 days in that altitude. So for us, it will be like probably yeah. sunburn and some aging, some pigmentation, right. which can be reversed with a proper skin specialist treatment. But for people like you who are f doing frequent treks, like who are probably right. exposed 50 days a year, or more, I think. I'm not very sure. More than that, more. I'm pretty sure. Definitely more. And in your case, the risk is even more than that. Even up to skin cancer. Even to because of the fact that we are brown skin, we are protected from things like skin cancer. But when you're exposed to this kind of altitudes and sun for such a long time, even that aspect comes into picture. So we okay. have to have to have sun protection or photo protection. <coughs> Now, how do we do this? I'm not going to go into a lot of technicalities, just practical tips. Okay? Practical things. Absolutely. So, you have to carry your sunscreen. Okay. Okay. Uh, carry your sunscreen. A sunscreen should not be used like, you know, a tikka, like one, two, three. That's not right. sunscreen. Sunscreen has okay. to be used generously. So, generally, what we say is two fingers. So, you take the sunscreen from here till here. That is the oh. amount of sunscreen required to cover cover your face, your ears, your neck. And that okay. is the amount you should use. And you have to repeat it every three hours. Oh. You can put it on top of your existing sunscreen also, especially when you are on a trek. You've seen me doing that, sir, right? I have done the EBC. You've seen me how many times I was applying and reapplying my sunscreen. So one is that. So right. wearing your sunscreen. I mean... There are people who carry this 50 gram ka tube or wo aadha bhi khatam nahi hota in a 14 day trek because wo aise tikke lagate you know like those bindis they put that's not, yeah. not going to give you any sun <coughs> the second thing is you wear a sun hat okay, okay. a sun hat preferably which is uh, you know like how those test match cricket players would wear that kind of a Correct. sun hat uh, you also have sun hats which have some side protection right. so in to this you wear a sun hat then your sunglasses which are polaroid which give you coverage against all kinds of radiation and uh, 
lastly something for the lips a lip sunscreen something which is moisturizing the lips also and has some inbuilt lip balm as well because your lips tend to get very dry the sunglasses also protect you from dry eye because you are subjected to so much of dryness in the atmosphere dryness. and there's a lot of people who develop dry eye uh if you are exposed to ultraviolet rays for a lot of time it can also cause premature cataracts but then again that's a very rare possibility but dry eye is something that happens very commonly so okay. these are the four things that you have to have uh sunscreen your uh, sun hat your sunglasses and a lip balm which has sun sun protection in it spf in it right got it because you know i can relate once you were saying ki people take this much of cream they don't use it you know i'm definitely one of them because i won't have used even this cream for the complete year so because somehow i been you know too lazy or ignoring the thing and uh, definitely we'll be more learned now and educating people who join us for the trek about these things but is it also related to dry you know if you uh, consume less water then the effect will be different or dryness of skin is related to sunburn or something so uh, not really sir so your skin does get dehydrated um in the sense uh, uh, once is your trekking okay. so you're constantly okay. water your water content has to be adequate as well a lot of times people take tablets like diamox which is also causing you to pee more often and lose more water of lose water more often as well okay. right so all this cause de- dehydration of skin but dehydration of skin per se does not cause you sunburn sunburns is purely ex- being exposed to sun got it <coughs> so drinking right. water definitely helps but, but you have to also use a moisturizer but see again what happens is when you are on a trek now you have to prioritize aap moisturizer bhi carry karoge aap makeup bhi carry karoge aap sab karoge then invariably you are going to miss out on a lot of things so i always say that carry one which is your sunscreen and preferably carry a moisturizing sunscreen something which has moisture additional moisture in it you know so you don't okay. have to use both the things ek mein aapka kaam ho jayega correct because you know the priority is minimum weight and such kind of stuff so that's why at times people might ignore that you know taking three creams carry it handy so okay. you can if you it's in your bag at the back there's a good chance you will not apply it so keep it handy your sunscreens keep it handy got it so this time i would like to say you know in case anyone has any questions for ma'am you know feel free to write it on the uh, window and we'll be happy to answer them once we see the same so this one thing you know uh, what should a person do in case they develop rashes or skin irritation during various treks because of dryness or something so what is the way out for that one so there are two things two kind of creams in addition to sunscreen that i carry and i would urge okay. everyone as well one is an antibiotic ointment okay, okay. because uh, so mucin is the name of the cream mupirocin it's an antibiotic ointment so if you get any injuries you can use that and that will heal the injury much faster and you will not have the need to take a oral antibiotic like there is a cut or there is a frostbite you know very early right. you have a cut sometimes some people don't cut their nails their toe nails especially and they have these injuries of the on the uh, tips of their toes right. so you can apply the tact ointment the mupirocin ointment and take care of it the second thing is you have to carry a steroid cream like flucot or flucinolone acetonide uh so whenever you have a rash or a sunburn you can use it and de- cut down the inflammation fatafat rather than waiting ki aapka pura trek khatam ho jaye and you have full peeling of skin and everything happening right. you know <coughs> red ho gaya it happens yeah right, i seen it. after every trek i have seen i've sent you photos of your own ki sir ye kya kar liya aapne yeah, But, yeah got it yeah, so now i can relate to it much better now i got it Flucin is a cream which is an antibiotic cream which everyone should carry, okay. and second is flu cream which is a steroid cream. Let me tell you, it's a steroid cream, so use it very wisely. Only when you have an allergy or a rash or a burn, okay. should you use it. Use twice a day, three four days. Up, lagao, then stop it. It should not be used. Ki tu bhi laga le, tu bhi laga le. It should not be like that. Got it. So, ma'am, there's one question somebody wants to know: Do we need to put sunscreen while we are at home? So. 
in a perfect world yes because like i said ultraviolet rays uh, infrared rays microwave sab hote hain right. so ideally right. yes should be applying at home as well uh, and especially if you are working on the computers they say that if you are working on the computers 8 hours a day that is equivalent okay. to standing out in the sun for 15 minutes okay so ideally yes oh that's new so you know something like ebc there's people who ask that you know what spf cream should be used there was someone who was asking me last week so what is spf what is the rating what is the ideal kind of cream which one should use what spf kind so sir two things are hoti hai ek hota hai ultraviolet lights are of two kinds there's ultraviolet a and ultraviolet b okay okay now ultraviolet b ka protection is measured by spf and ultraviolet okay. a ka protection is measured by a uva protection factor uvpf kehte hain hum usko now spf ka naam itna popular hai ki people only check for spfs jabki the proportion of ultraviolet light that falls on the earth 90% is ultraviolet a and only 10% is ultraviolet b so oh. spf zyada uvpf zaruri hota hai theek hai है लोगों को लगता है कि मैं एसपीएफ 100 ही लगा दूं तो मेरे को 100% प्रोटेक्शन हो जाएगा सो एसपीएफ इज रेट यू नो 15 एसपीएफ 15 30 50 70 एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फॉर नाउ एसपीएफ 15 का मतलब क्या होता है इट प्रोटेक्ट्स यू फ्रॉम इफ यूज्ड इन द करेक्ट क्वांटिटी इट विल प्रोटेक्ट यू फ्रॉम 93% ऑफ अल्ट्रावायलेट बी लाइट एसपीएफ 15 ना 15 इज 93% ओके एसपीएफ 30 इज 94% SPF 50 is 97 percent and even a SPF 199 percent. So antar jo hai that is only from 93 percent to 99 percent. But jaise jaise SPF badta hai, your sunscreen starts becoming more sticky and more heavy. Okay. So then the reapplication doesn't happen. You don't like the sunscreen keep making my skin look so oily and so greasy. Then you don't feel like applying it. So, if you have to go to trek, then 50 is enough. 5050 is enough. Because that is like no consistency. You will not feel oily or greasy and you will be fine with it. The third thing is the UVPF. The UV protection. So, in front of it, there is a symbol of plus. So, any sunscreen has a UVA plus plus plus. That is 3 plus. That is the correct kind of UVA protection for you. So, a SPF 50 होना चाहिए and UVA plus 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 होना चाहिए three plus होना चाहिए. You can use any sunscreen. There is no govern, there is no regulating authority in India जो बताता है कि ये sunscreen अच्छा है, ये sunscreen बुरा है because there is nobody regulating it. Okay. But preferably आप medicated sunscreen use करोगे. जैसे आपने GSK का, Glenmark का, Sun Pharma का या you know, in sub companies ka sunscreen use ka, you know that they've been standardized. They've been manufactured with a protocol as opposed to using Acme, Banana Boat or jo aise cosmetic companies hai jo sunscreen ke market mein utri hui hai because there's no regulations and they are not used to regulation. So protocol follow karna thoda mushkil ho jata hai. Very nice. So any sunscreen so, that you like because you have to apply it correct. is a good sunscreen and preferably a medicated one SPF 50 and UV uh, A protection 3 plus. That's enough. Got it. Got it. Um, thanks. Now, Vidisha has one question. She wants to know how can we keep ourselves moisturized at night, like a night regime on the mountains? <coughs> night regime, Vidisha has high aspirations. Night regime on the mountains is very tough. But a yeah. uh, trick, a hack. Hai. मैंने खुद कभी नहीं किया because I was out by the evening खाना खाने के बाद मुझे बिल्कुल वो नहीं होता था so you just wash your face with a very mild face wash a very mild face wash या तो होता है then you can apply any moisturizer of your choice और उसके ऊपर ना आप Vaseline petrol atom jelly होता है ना Vaseline petrol atom jelly not the lotion you apply that on top of it that kind of seals your skin completely it's like a sleep mask you you get a lot of sleep masks also this is like right. a sleep so actually very intense hydration kar hai. 
हालांकि ये मैंने, आपने... मैंने खुद नहीं पांच क्रीम पांच क्रीम तो आपने बता दिया अभी तक फेस वॉश से लेके मॉइस्चराइजर सनस्क्रीन यूवी प्लस प्लस एंड एस तो फिर खाना पीना किस में ले जाएंगे मैम सामान भी तो कैरी करना है दैट्स व्हाट यू नो माय फ्रेंड योगी से ही सेइंग द सेम थिंग लेकिन मैंने अभी तक कुछ नहीं लगाया तो सर योगी जी तो है उनको बताइए कि आपके बहुत जल्दी झुरिया पड़ेंगी और अगर आपकी शादी नहीं हुई है नहीं हुई थी मैम यंग यंग लड़का है बॉम्बे का ही है तो अभी आपको दिक्कत हो सकती है अगर आप बॉम्बे में मुझे आके मिलो मैं बताती हूँ आपको कौन सा सनस्क्रीन लगाना ठीक है मैम आप कहीं वहाँ पे फायर फाइट होती है तो बताएगा बिकॉज़ ही इज़ इन द फायर ब्रिगेड देयर बॉम्बे में तो दैट टाइम विल कम चेक टिप इज एसपीएफ 50 एंड यूपी यूवीपीएफ प्लस 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 इज गुड एनफ गुड ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज यू नो सो देयर वाज वन पर्सन ड्यूरिंग आवर एवरेस्ट बेस कैंप वंस वी वर गोइंग फ्रॉम लुबुचे टू गोरखशेप यू नो सडनली शी स्टार्टेड हैविंग दोस चिल ब्लिंग्स व्हिच मींट यू नो skin may some boils we are had started dev- developing hmm. so what is the reason for that is it dryness is it cold or is it you know something to do with something else you know why, why could that happen so generally chill blains or frost bites aisi jagah pe hoti hai which are the ends of our body jahan pe blood supply sabse minimum hota hai okay. so generally you get it of the fingers or tips of the toes aisi jagah pe aam taur pe hota hai because the blood supply is restricted the first thing we have to do is we have to ensure that there is no break in the skin ya yeah, injuries oh, nahi so agar aapko already pata hai you have a skin you know there are people who will sit in the ac also and they'll be like i can't feel my fingers so these are the kind of people who should ensure they they already are they are always wearing gloves so they don't wait ki humko thandi lage fir hum pehne unko pehle se hi warm rakhna hai secondly okay. they have moisturize themselves well because any kind of break in the skin will initiate will further make the blood supply less toenails ki jaise hum baat karte hain lot of people don't uh, trim their toenails before going on a trek and if the foot is a little ill fitting then that can cause a lot of injuries to the nails and cause bruising beneath the nails aur usse bhi blood supply kam hota hai aur aapko frost bites ya chill blains ho sakte hain second is okay. have good in sole in your shoe Uh, that is also very important. अगर आपको normally corns और callosities का tendency है then go to a podiatrist way before the trek. Okay. Get your scan where they identify what is your pressure point. कि यहाँ पर आपको uh, एक corn होने का या एक uh, frostbite होने का chances है okay. And you can get a customized insole made for your feet. So again that. So see once the chill blain or the frostbite happens. then there is only so much you can do then you have to warm temperatures hai nitroglycerin ke patches hai you call up a surgeon there are a lot of things you can do so avoidance is much easier agar aap identify kare ki acha i have a tendency to feel cold early injuries zyada hoti hai mujhe uh, dry skin zyada hoti hai to agar aap ye identify karke inko pehle hi prevent kar sake then uski naubat aayegi nahi kyunki ek bar wo ho gaya na sir then there are no creams that will help you you have to increase the body temperatures and do the needful right so prevention you saying is in a day yes, be taken care of great other thing which i was curious to know is that you know if i am climbing in himachal if i am climbing in nepal or if i am climbing in argentina europe anywhere does it vary that you know the chill blains or the uh, sunburns which are going to be there kahin pe zyada hoga kahin pe kam hoga is it related to the geographical location of course sir it all depends on the altitude and how closer you are to the equator because when you are closer to the equator okay. you direct perpendicularly aata hai agar aap zyada uh, tilted hote ho then right. the, even if it is a higher altitude still it is not falling directly on your uh, skin so Perfectly, that yeah, the, plus the colder the place obviously the chances of chill blains and frost bites are more right and similarly dry the place may be like argentina and all there was lot of dryness you know dry winds and so maybe the effect is much more uh, i mean you're m- more prone there uh, instead yeah. of any other place so the indian nice. sub continent is generally a little humid and uh, hot Correct. whereas uh, indian ones are dry and hot or dry and cold 
so there it makes more difference than our part of the world right got it now. <coughs> other thing what i wanted to know is that you know they are things called heat pads jaise aap summit push ke liye ja rahe hain people use some kind of heat pads it's... in gloves in shoes and all do you think it's recommended is it good or bad yes they are quite good sir they are quite good in fact uh, there are people who carry the heat pads in their down jackets the zip of their down jacket so they can keep their hands inside it and make you feel warm because extremity right. sir hamara core temperature to hamare andar hota hai like the core of our body but our tips are the ones which kind of make us feel very disabled when you feel cold so keeping them warm definitely helps but aapka core temperature usse change nahi hoga your core will be still cold no matter how heat this will be for mobility aapki mobility zyada achhi hogi if your hands and feet are warm but right. your core temperature will still remain low no matter how many heat pads you keep anywhere okay okay got it. so there was one more question i was seeing from nisha she wants to know uh, during the treks the nails tend to break and get discolored how to prevent that so like i said you have to trim the nails to the level of your toe you can't have longer shapely nails and okay. you have the right size of like generally as you say the trek shoes have to be a little larger in size than your regular foot size because you're also probably going to wear your woolen socks inside which okay. are a little spacious so and you have to have the ankle support and you have to tie it very tight so your, your foot is not banging against the tip of your shoes small small yeah, thing which uh, and uh, 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 bruises and bleeds beneath the nails are very painful, very painful. Okay. So they kind of add to the already thakavat hoti hai, already बहुत pain वैसे ही हो जाता है. तो at least जहाँ पर हम avoid कर सकते हैं by these small small things, you should totally avoid it. But yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. So there's <coughs> another one from Subha. She wants to know if you sweat a lot, it gets messy with the sunscreen. How to handle that? सी सनस्क्रीन का ऐसा है कि डोंट वेयर अ सनस्क्रीन एंड इमीजिएटली गो आउट बिकॉज यू आर वेयरिंग अ सनस्क्रीन एंड इमीजिएटली वर्क आउट यू आर गोइंग टू स्वेट सो सनस्क्रीन लगा के पांच मिनट आप एक जगह पे बैठो अंटिल इट गेट्स अब्जॉर्ब वंस इट गेट्स अब्जॉर्ब इट डजेंट गेट मेसी एट ऑल समथिंग कॉल्ड एज सन स्टिक अभी आप बोलोगे मैं बहुत सारी चीजें बता रही हूँ बट दर समथिंग कॉल्ड एज अ सन स्टिक ओके विच इज लाइक जैसे वो रोल ऑन होते हैं ना जो हम uh, अंडर आर्म्स में वगैरह लगाते इट्स लाइक दैट सोटिक तो वो बिल्कुल ग्रीजी नहीं होता बट अगेन प्रायोरिटीज सो याफिनेटलीसन विद यू नो हु गोइंग फॉर हार्स कंडीशन एंड एंड दे है सेंसिटिव स्किन सो वॉट थिंग्स शुड दे कीप इन माइंड टू अवॉइड यू नो सन बर्नस एंड स्किन डैमेजेस See if you have a harsh skin, then you have to carry your kit. You have to carry your cleanser. You have to carry your uh, sunscreen, which is specific to your skin. You have to carry okay. your moisturizer, and you have to okay. carry your anti-steroid cream. वो तो आपको लेकर जाना ही पड़ेगा. उसमें option नहीं है. Second option ये होगा कि आप जाओ ही मत, which obviously will, I will not recommend. But आपको ये आपका kit लेकर जाना पड़ेगा, which is your preventative also. और अगर कुछ हुआ तो curative भी होता है. Okay, so you've got to take uh, added things just to make sure that you know your skin is not getting damaged. Yes. Ma'am, how to avoid frostbite? Because you know mountains may that is one thing which really scares people. Once we were there for uh, you know a kanka goa, there were a lot of hota kame, but then hype is so much created and people are really scared that you know in skin or you know as you said tips of the fingers, toes and all. so how to avoid that uh, to have all frostbite to avoid frostbite and all what should be done abhi main bolungi to aap bologe ki main bahut sari cheeze bata rahi hu but main fir bhi bata dunga but batana padega ya ya to sir pehle to na agar aap vaseline petrolatum jelly lagaye around okay. your finger frostbite generally happens on your fingers and your toes right Absolutely. so agar aap vaseline okay. ka thick layer lagaye तो वो आपकी बॉडी से हीट को बाहर जाने नहीं देता और बाहर की कोल्ड को अंदर आने नहीं देता इट्स लाइक सील सील कर देता है वो तो आप जो right. भी मॉइस्चराइज आप अच्छे से लाइक जेनरसली यूज द वैसलिन पेट्रोल एटम जेली वेयर योर वुलन सॉक्स और ट्रिमिंग द नेट हाइड्रेटेड ये सब करोगे आप एंड यू नो दोट पैड एज वॉट यू कॉल्ड इट 
अगर आप वो right. डाल के तो चांसेस ऑफ यू डेवलपिंग अ फ्रॉस्ट बाइट इज वेरी लेस पुटिंग दैट वैसलिन पेट्रोलाइटम जेली का सील ताकि यहाँ से ना हीट बाहर जाए ना वहां से कोल्ड अंदर आए वो अगर आपने सील कर दिया तो चांसेस बहुत कम हो जाते हैं। वंडरफुल। and that's where the hair becomes very messy and you know troublesome how do you take care of hair once you are applying so pehli cheez to na do cheeze hoti hai one is your scalp hygiene is compromised when you are on a trek yeah. uh, your hair, hair doesn't need cleaning your scalp okay. needs clean okay to scalp hygiene compromise ho jata hai dusra sir because you are subjecting your hair to so much of dry weather right. to aapka hair बहुत ड्राई और ब्रिटल हो जाता है इजी टू ब्रेक हो जाता है ब्रेकेबल इजी टू ब्रेक हो जाता है तो सर एज फार एज द ड्राइनेस इज कंसर्न वी कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग अबाउट इट बिकॉज़ एंड आई विल टेल यू मैं आपको ये तो नहीं बोल सकती आप ट्रैक में स्पा कराइए यू कांट गेट अ हेयर स्पा डन राइट सो स्कैल्प स्किन के लिए देयर आर दीस ड्राई शैम्पूस दैट आर देयर व्हिच आर नॉट रेकमेंडेड ऑन अ बेसिस बट दे काइंड ऑफ सक द ऑयल दैट इज देयर ऑन द स्कैल्प सो यू जस्ट पार्ट द एयर एंड जस्ट स्प्रे द ड्राई शैम्पू सो यू कैन डू इट एवरी ऑफ एम सॉरी स्पेशली द लास्ट सिक्स सेवन डेज ऑफ द ट्रेक वेर यू कैन एब्सोल्यूटली नॉट हैव अ बाथ यू कैन यूज दैट यू नो दो यू कैन कैरी अ लीव ऑन हेयर सीरम फॉर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ द ड्राई हेयर अनदर थिंग वट आई ऑलवेज इज वंस यू रीच back your uh, homes after you do a 14 day 15 day trek be ready to experience some degree of hair loss that almost right. invariably happens and most people panic because of it ki are mare baal jhad rahe hain now your body right. is going through so much stress yes. it is going to conserve all the nutrition to the vital organs of the body so invariably your hair or skin ka nutrition compromise hota hai so maybe 2 3 months after the trek a lot of people will lose hair not immediately after the trek it can happen immediately also because right. of the dryness and thinness of the hair that happens because of the exposure to dry hair but do teen mahine baad a lot of people lose hair jo ek aadha mahina rehta hai and then it's back to normal wonderful so the, <coughs> nothing to panic right nothing to panic but absolutely nothing okay, nice okay so there was this question from uh, deepak nath he wants to know how of so he he is also doctor and he is joining us for abc this time so he is asking how often you should keep reapplying the sunscreen on a whole day trek every 3 hours ideally every 2 hours but kam se kam every 3 hours to kari hum bhi beech raste mein ruk jayenge meri shaam aa jayegi aap unko aise tips bata rahe ho but 3 hours you think have to be pani peene ke liye to nahi rukte na sir aap chalte chalte hum peete hai na aap aise hi sunscreen laga sakte hai ek minute to apply your sunscreen right so that's why you were saying you know keep it handy so that you don't have to wait keep your bags take 10 minutes rest and then apply so just keep them handy and keep applying you know every 3 hours you saying yes yes perfect and so use dry shampoos every alternate okay skin bonds to it is fine so other thing is you know in case their kids who are on the trek you know how is it different from you know men going women going and kids so does it apply to all three the same way or there some special treatment kids would need or something on those lines sir very honestly uh, there is there are no special guidelines on sunscreen okay. for except the fact ki 6 mahine se kam umar ke bachcho ko hum sunscreens nahi lagate okay it's less than 6 months anyone above 6 months you can use the <clears throat> sunscreen which is specifically meant for babies up to the age of 3 4 years and after the age of 5 years you can use the same sunscreen that an adult is using unless the skin child has a skin problem agar kisi bacche ko condition hai like atopic dermatitis which is a dry skin condition which will be aggravated okay. by going back, then they have to take special care they have to properly visit their uh, pediatric dermatologist and take a prescription and then go But other than that, nothing much. 
fine now coming on to the important topic ma'am which is more related to people like me ek baar agar ho gaya to uske baad sunscreen lagane se to kuch hoga nahi what is to be done after that ek baar ho gaya matlab sir ek baar aapka sunburn ho gaya you came you went to argentina came back pura sun tan yeah. ho gaya now what is the way out should it is there any way to you know recover or on a faster basis or let it happen on its own sir dekhiye agar do teen cheeze hain ek hota hai sunburn okay. ek hota hai sun tan ek hota hai pigmentation ek hota hai aging ek hota hai cancer to jo burn jo hota hai wo to aap creams lagaoge uska aapka sahi ho jayega okay tan jo agar aap you don't treat a tan within 6 to 12 weeks your tan is going to reverse completely on its own agar aapko thoda jaldi karana hai there are de tanning facials which happen in doctor clinics dermat run clinics right. so de tanning facial aapko ek session mein hi result dikhne lag jata hai okay aging ki baat hoti hai aging ke liye fir aapko zyada procedures karne padte you know you get these thick lines forehead pe aati hai right. ya to aapke thick lines aati even on the neck you get those rhomboid shape lines then aapko proper right. aging treatment karna padta hai which is hum kahenge ki aap pehle sunscreen laga lo fir iski naubat hi nahi aati मतलब इट वुड बिकॉज़ दोस ट्रीटमेंट्स बिकम मोर एक्सपेंसिव एंड वेरी हार्ड टू मेंटेन एज वेल राइट और कैंसर तो बहुत ही ज्यादा वो हो जाता है बिकॉज़ देयर इट इज क्वेश्चन ऑफ सर्जरीज एंड यू नो ऑल थिंग्स लाइक दैट तो डिपेंडिंग ऑन आपको क्या हुआ है सनबर्न तो क्रीम से मैनेज हो जाएगा टैन के लिए आपको डी टैन फेशियल्स करना पड़ेगा एजिंग जब होता है तो आपको प्रॉपर डर्मेट इंजेक्टेबल ट्रीटमेंट्स लेने पड़ते हैं और and how does cancer happen prolonged exposure would lead to cancer you mean yes when you have a very long term exposure without any sun protection to normally okay. ta hai ki uh, hum brown skin naturally blessed hai uh, ki hame cancers nahi hote because hamare andar hota hai melanin jo humko okay. cancer karta hai lekin kaisa hota hai jab hamara ultraviolet uh, radiation bahut time tak hamari skin ko expose hota hai it it messes with the dna inside our skin and it causes okay. mutations in the dna so ultraviolet a se bhi hota hai aur b se bhi hota hai jab dna ka mutation hota hai and it's a it's a continuous process then you start developing uh, skin cancers it can start so it can be also precancerous lesion like a small okay. actinic or it could be a proper full fledged skin cancer to jo normally photo exposed area hote jaisa face hai ears hai yahan par ye zyada karke hote hain as opposed to the hands and legs <coughs> so any growth that you see is new <coughs> or if you have an old mole which is increasing in size or cracking or bleeding or becoming rough surface you should go to a dermatologist right. and find out ye kya hai what is it got it but if you keep applying all these creams and all regularly then you are kind of safe you know then you can see be on the mountains in, more often yes so see what happens is when you apply sunscreen basically what the sunscreen does is it absorbs the ultraviolet rays converts it into something else and throws it out of the skin to jo dna damage hai wo hota hi nahi hai you know Perfect. and i'm most worried about the dna damage because burn tan pigmentation aging to hum phir bhi kuch na kuch kar sakte hain dna damage ka नहीं कर सकते वो हो चुका तो हो चुका सो विच इज फॉर दैट रीजन अप्लाइंग सनस्क्रीन मेक्स अ लॉर्ड ऑफ सेंस इट्स जस्ट अ हैबिट सर जैसे सर हमें बचपन से बताया गया हमें ब्रश करना है हम एक समय के बाद हमें बताना नहीं पड़ता कि अरे ब्रश करो हमें अनकंफर्टेबल लगता है आज मैंने ब्रश नहीं किया यू नो समे हैव अ लॉन्ग डे एंड वी हैव एंड इट्स अ संडे यू डेंट ब्रश इट यू फील अनकंफर्टेबल सो सनस्क्रीन हैज टू बिकम हैबिट If you don't apply sunscreen, if you start feeling uncomfortable, and once you get in the habit, it is very easy, sir. Yeah, of course, I'm sure. Okay, now <coughs> Dr. Deepa Gayan wants to know any home rem- remedies for D tan. Sir, home remedies, very honestly, ये हम बचपन में करते थे. अब हमारी मम्मी से करती थी. कितना असर होता था हमें नहीं पता. But turmeric, right? Curd. Um, these are the things aloe vera these are the things have natural anti inflammatory properties Cum- right. turmeric skin lightening properties curd has a lot of skin lightening and hydration properties to agar ab hum in cheezon ko milaye 
पपया पपया जो होता है दिस ऑल्सो हैज अ लॉट ऑफ इन्फ्लोमेटरीज एंड स्किन लाइटनिंग प्रॉपर्टीज तो अगर हम इन चीजों को मिलाए तो देर इज अ चांस यू कैन हैव डी टैनिंग बट देन द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द डी टैनिंग एजेंट इज वेरी लो तो अगर आप इसको रोज लगाओगे और हफ्ता दस दिन लगाओगे तो जो दो महीने में सही होगा वो शायद पंद्रह दिन में सही हो जाएगा बट अगेन समथिंग सर डी या होम रेमेडीज मतलब किचन का जो सामान है उसको सिर्फ खाने के लिए इस्तेमाल करना चाहिए ना कि लगाने के लिए देर इज अ रीजन वाई इट इज बीन लाइक दैट बट देन हमारे कल्चरली वी आर द काइंड ऑफ पीपल वी लाइक टू नेचुरल हर्बल ऑर्गेनिक ये सब चीज हमें बहुत लुभाती है वी गेट वेरी अट्रैक्टेड एंड वी गेट वेरी वेरी गलीबल so these things really yeah. attract so <coughs> yeah so yeah, honey uh, aloe vera and uh, turmeric these are turmeric. the things which you in detail great great now suman wants to know sunscreen mountain pe hi laga lagate hain ya normal location mein bhi lagate hain i think he is joint late but then normal location sense. hum to keh rahe hain ki aap ghar pe bhi lagao because hum mobile dekh rahe ho बट माउंटेन uh, पे तो लगाओ ही लगाओ इट्स सुपर इम्पोर्टेंट डेफिनेटली राइट मैम सो योर न्यू क्लिनिक हैज बीन इनोग्रेटेड या अभी होने में बाकी इसका काम yes. सर हो गया हो गया ट्वेंटी uh, लॉन्च हो गया जी हाँ इनोग्रेशन भी हो गया काम भी शुरू हो गया बैक टू रूटीन भी हो गया कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन मैम सो फॉर इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एवरी वन डॉक्टर वैशाली मैम इज रिसेंटली ओपन दिस न्यू क्लिनिक Ma'am, can you share the details for the same? So, uh, yeah. So, uh, so I've been practicing from the last ten uh, plus years, and we've okay. recently shifted large space in Khar, okay. which is one of the most prime locations in in uh, Bombay, and it's a full state of the art aesthetic clinic. very realistic uh, skin care and hair care treatments we wonderful right so this was more or less you know what we had to discuss uh, other thing is you know uh, what are your future plans climbing climbing because abhi maksood sir Kafi ho okay. Uh, I was seeing in the evening he was quite interested in the climbs ahead. What are your plans in climbing uh, for the year? So sir, this year, ah, uh, आपके साथ ही है. दो peaks का plan है. एक तो friendship और शितिदार peak जो हम जून में जाने का सोच रहे हैं. Uh, training for that as well. Although we are little under the weather, so not up to the mark. But training for okay. that as well. And uh, Kilimanjaro trek we reuniting with the whole EBC gang. of uh, may 2022 really looking forward to it it's funny uh, how 15 days of a trek <clears throat> can make you uh, friends for life it's it's i am in touch with most of them even now and yeah. uh, it's very strange it's something we've never experienced before but, so it's amazing and really looking forward to these two treks great ma'am all the best so you know for people like us it's always good Knowing such amazing people like you, and then आपके ट्रैक में फिर ज्वाइन करके क्रीम यूज करेंगे बिकॉज हम तो फिर तब तक आई होप आई गेट यूज टू इट बट देन फिर आप और आई कैन प्रोमिस यू सर इस बार सबके लिए सनस्क्रीन मैं लेकर आऊंगी ग्रेट सो दैट दैट बी अनदर मोटिवेशन फॉर द होल टीम आई थिंक Yes, yes. वकील साहब से लेके जितने भी हैं सो थैंक यू सो मच मैम वंडरफुल कनेक्टिंग एनी लास्ट पीस ऑफ यू नो ज्ञान यू वॉन्ट टू शेयर Which you think will bare minimum? Itna to karna hi padega if they want to save their skin and you know avoid uh, future problems on skin care. Uh, use a sunscreen. Don't rely on social media for information, especially the skin influencers that are there. Uh, you know, when we talk about skin care, dermatologists talk about skin care. It is Ma'am. not just our experience, but also the experience of thousands of other doctors. doctors and scientists who have done research in this field whereas when you have a skin influencer using a dark circle cream in the under eye when there is no dark circle at all in the first place so and saying that this is the cream which helped me there's no before after so please uh, have good uh, uh, 
leaders to follow absolutely wonderful ma'am thank you so much for very very informative session session i think uh, there are a lot of takeaways especially for people like me who have been ignoring it for quite some time and dr deepak again thanks you and i'm sure everyone else who has been part of it thank great you, ma'am sir. looking for look- Keep looking forward to see you soon and for the friendship peak yes thank you so much sir looking forward as well thank thanks you. ma'am bye bye good night uh, thank you very much for igniting this love for mountains for me this has been the best thing that has happened to me in a long time thanks a lot ma'am so nice of you to say that regards ma'am bye guys good night bye